Ooh, I'm digging that. That's Granger Smith with his Back Road song, his first top 40 hit. Sounded good there. Vegas is New Country 1027, the Coyote with Todd Michaels. And with me in the studio from Freakling Brothers Trilogy of Terror this afternoon on West Flamingo. That's just west of the 215, JT Molder, Vice President and Designer. And let me tell you, before you guys walked in here a few minutes ago, I'm glad I went to the bathroom ahead of time. You were a little scared. <laughs> Leviathan. I mean, I, when I came out there a few weeks ago to visit your haunted attractions, uh, he was out there. He's like the henchman. If you've been to Freakling Brothers, he stands outside all three of these haunted houses. He's this big, menacing guy with a black cloak on, a, uh, a staff in his hand with a goat's head on it. That's He's got this is. mask, and he breathes smoke. He uh, does. Uh, uh, so, uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, he's in here. That's ex he, 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 Stop staring at me, all right? So, JT, I, I just want to tell you, because you're here this afternoon, I didn't have a chance after I had gone through all the haunted houses. You got three of them over there. And uh, I was so impressed. Thank I mean, you. They're scary as heck, dude. Thank you. You did yeah. a good job. So you have Castle Vampire, The Gates of Hell, and The Coven of Thirteen. There's three attractions all in one lot. This is, again... On uh, West Wingo, west of the 215, across from the Sears door. How did you get started with all this? My dad, uh, Duke Molnar, was scaring people in our backyard with my mom, Jenny Molnar, for uh, for years, starting 1977. And in 92, we opened the first freestanding haunted attraction in Nevada. Um, and we're, uh, we're the longest-running haunt company in Vegas. And, and we've tried our best to not just be the oldest in Vegas, but not get behind the times and stay on the cutting edge and, and always come out with new stuff. Mm-hmm. And I like the Leviathan is over there breathing smoke as you talk. Yeah, yeah I like it too. Can you hear that in the microphone? Do it again. Yeah. <laughs> Stop staring at me! I wanted to turn, go in the corner and turn around, dude. I mean, you're really freaking me out this afternoon. You know, I, I just want to know what, what you think sets Freakling Brothers apart from all the other haunted attractions in town. We uh, we made a choice about uh, five years ago to go in the uh, to really tap into the adult demographic. So um, we like to scare adults, people between you know twenty and eighty. Uh, that's what we do. We do 80, have young. We eighty do have, years <laughs> old. <laughs> Once in a while, you'd be surprised. They might take we their heart pills first. <laughs> we do have some young teenagers show up uh, who are up for the challenge. But um, the Gates of Hell is the only R-rated full contact haunted house in the in the state of Nevada. And we were rated number one scariest uh, in the country on numerous polls this year, including one by USA Today, um, number two in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're really the, the the other shows in town cater to kids. Uh, we don't. We we scare the hell out of everybody, uh, including <laughs> including grownups. And and that's what we do. We have two options: the Coven of Thirteen and Castle Vampire. Um, are both very cerebral, very fantastical, very intense, but uh, but not over the top. The Gates of Hell is for that extreme haunt seeker, the one who's looking for a little something more, and there is nothing else like it. It's rated R, 17 and over. you got to sign a waiver. You'll hear profane language. You'll get brutalized a little bit. It's pretty intense. <laughs> yes, yes, I got brutalized. I can honestly <laughs> say I got brutalized inside the Gates of Hell. That's the one that's there in the middle. If you've been to Free Clean Brothers, uh, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, you got to get there. And you guys close up shop on Halloween night, Saturday night, right? Halloween night, um, keep in mind, it says we close at midnight on weekends and 11 on weekdays, but we don't close the shows uh, until you've gone, you've gone through. So especially Halloween night, we will keep going until you stop coming. So if you feel like you want to head over at 1 o'clock in the morning, we'll probably still be in for it. <laughs> uh, do not stop coming on Halloween night. We want to scare everybody in town. He's scaring me right now. <laughs> stop staring at me! And you probably hear him breathing right into the microphone. Every time he, he inhales or exhales, smoke comes out of his mask. Yeah. Yes, you can hear that. you got a wheeze. I, I, I need to give you something for that wheeze, you know? <laughs> Allergy pills. Or, yeah. <laughs> anyway, you guys, thanks for coming in this afternoon. You. If you haven't been there yet, you got to go check it out. Freakling Brothers Trilogy of Terror on West Wingo, just west of the 215. JT Molder, Vice President and Designer. Big hands off to you because you've done a great job. I mean, you 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 do what you've set out to do, and that's scare people. You scared this dude right here to death, bro. We have a blast scaring yeah. big guys like you. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, Freaklingbros.com. Make sure you check us out and uh, and come on down. We're waiting to scare everybody in town, and and we do scare big, burly, 
scary men like yourself. <laughs> but yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I think I went home with wet underwear that night. That but, was great. But, but good job. Thanks, Thanks for coming in this afternoon to get him out of here. All right. Will,